What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will at What's Up in the Sky 37 and you can catch me on the web at www.whatsupinthesky.com I haven't done a video for a while. I've been uh, kind of not feeling that well but back in the ball game. If you're looking at the screen now you see the Egyptian statue on Mars. And to the right of it I've got an example of some statues that were carved out here on Earth in Egypt. Here you go. Now that's for the people that want to hit it and run. You see the anomaly. There's a lot more on this picture, so stick around if you want to hear me blab. And uh, let's see what we usually do. All right. So here's the photo journal from the JPL NASA. These was at the Opportunity rover. This was done uh, in 2007. Um, I guess it says yeah. During 2006, 2007, it, it was on the rim of Victoria Crater. This is a really neat picture. There's a lot of weathering from sand and water. It looks like water too weathering in this picture. I believe that Mars was a fully functioning planet at one time, but actually it still is in many ways. So we could probably go there. I'm not sure if we could still live there or not. But here's the. Uh, they, it was really neat about this to have the high resolution tip. It's not all that high res. I know there's been better ones that come back from Opportunity. I'm not sure why this wasn't released in the hundred megabyte region. A lot of them come out with like 110 megabyte, 120 megabyte. Um, but here we go. So download this. I've already got it on my computer. Um, let me reset it to the original. I'd sharpen that up just a tad for the sneak preview. I've been listening to everybody who comes and comments on my videos. You know, I've got a lot of good uh, a lot of good recommendations from people out there. So I'm new to this. I've been making YouTube videos. You know, that if you saw that first one I made, it's horrible. People come and talk crap about it all the time and, and leave on the Antarctica one, leave horrible messages. Oh my goodness. It's amazing what people say. But there are a lot of anomalies in this. Now, this area looks a lot like the weathered stones out in the uh, Midwest of the Americas. Um, beautiful, beautiful, the the wind and stuff. But there's a lot to this to me that just seems like it, this was worked over a long time ago. And years of weathering have, uh, have taken some of these beautiful faces and knocked them down. If you look here, along the rim here of, the, of this, you can see... Uh, what appears to be symmetry, like this would have been one block, this would have been another block, these would have been some more blocks. And it looks like a lot of these have fallen down, that white color have fallen down. Um, but let me take you to the, to the main anomaly first. And, uh, you've, well, it's over here. See how you've got this, it's almost, see how you're coming down the mountain here? It's, it's almost like there's this walkway here, and it comes down. And I've seen this in Egypt, and I wish I could find the, uh, the actual the one I found um, ah that picture I wish I could find it I gotta find it for you guys but first off I see this right here this looks like it has three fingers and it looks like it's a uh, maybe part of this this might have some sort of religious religious meaning who knows but uh, this looks to be carved as well um, the grain are not through this rock right here see how this rock does not have these grains going through it and there are these the fingers are pointing in a totally opposite direction like uh, these are running horizontal now is this made by the wind or was this carved by man that's you know or Martians whatever you want to call it so you come down here and then you get to this which is right here on this level which it has a level so it looks like somebody could have carved this or could have stood up here and carved it if you I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen this up a little bit just a tad so we can get a better view of what actually maybe not that much let's see and maybe give it just a little bit of brightness okay and see if it needs let me give my other mouse see if it needs a little bit of contrast no that's too much right there just a tad so then it's got this little seam right here and I'm not just kinda looks like this would be actually to defer rocks that fell down it so it wouldn't fall directly on the statue but as you see here you've got the head and you've got the Egyptian beard that's known, the, the very prominent nose, the eyes, and a headdress. Under it goes out with the shoulders and it goes straight down. Very similar to to statues on Egypt. And this would be the one standing. The one I had showed earlier was a guy sitting down. And it almost looks like this over here. Everything here seems to be the way these blocks are carved. It just seems to be done kind of by hand. And what brought my attention when I first saw this, before I even looked over to here and saw this, which I came just for this because I've seen this on the internet, is this right here. 
That's a very interesting rock pile there, or whatever it is. It's got a lot of a uh, lot of shapes in it. There's a circle. There's two lines, and look at this up and down over and then down it's got it's almost like a symbol of some sort like this would be part of an an altar or something along those lines over here you've got another one of these indents and see how along this path it looks like there have been people working up here and could move along this so we're not sure how far up the ground we are here that's not too much of a fall I mean here on the earth people have <laughs> taken to some amazing heights especially in like uh, India and Turkey and some of those areas over there like the Cappadocia region and stuff that stuff's amazing uh, but you get a lot of these circle type things and let me go ahead and let me reset this back see that's actually in the picture that's not what I added to it so I was wondering if maybe my contrast had done that um, so look look at let's just take a look at this there's that that machine here this looks to be something here like this is a uh, maybe some of this fascia up here that fell down this is another one if we would have the angle right this looks exactly like that other see how it's got the path coming down it runs here and then it drops to there and then here there's another level um, these look like they have been leveled this almost looks like you could walk in there as a cave like windows yeah look at this these are slit look at these slits this is very cool this is a perfect ooh look at this this is like a perfect uh that could let me make that huge for you guys real quick let's take a look at this and now when it gets big like this of course you lose some of the resolution let me sharpen up as much but this looks to be perfect here as a rectangle or yeah, it looks like a rectangle let me pull that out and that looks definitely like another head so we've got one carving two carving my sister's phone <laughs> um, so one carving, sorry about that, two carvings and we still go to here three carvings this interesting thing here and this is just scratching the surface, there's so much to this let me go up here, and this could very well just be the wind that's done this but with these circles and stuff planted in it, this these rocks almost look like they were placed. I see the cracks in the natural uh, like earthquakes and probably have done that. They probably had plate tectonics just like we do here. I would imagine. Here's another ledge right here. Look, these ledges look like they were put in there, and all around the Mayan countries too, they have these where uh, on the ledges these they would put the bodies in like these indented areas into the rocks where they put the bodies of the priests or like the high the men that you know those type people but there definitely seems to be some sort of face here or some sort of carving I'm not sure what that is a lot of these seem to be notched and going against the grain so to make that would be this right here I don't know why that's blurred that's blurry in the picture that's kind of strange how that end up turning out this is kind of this right here looks like on this side like they did see this right here and they've got a natural cut going through it but this seems to be actually cut and carved there's so much to this and this right here this this ledge alone where it's got this circle this is like a, a circle it almost looks like a wheel turned over running flat these are pretty small you know I'm, I'm not sure the size of this but this looks just from the from where the rover was sitting when it took this up at the top this is a, he was on a peak looking out like so the rover would be up here taking a picture of that one kinda like that and oh wow let's go look at this over here look at these other parts that just has some some weird symmetry to it let me make that big for you guys to see now that's on the other cliff so, and we're wow look at this it goes down and around almost like a snake would it kind of snakes down I've never really seen uh, rocks form like that or uh, yeah that looks like some sort of some rope or something along those lines but oh look this over here this seems this this is a cut diag okay so most of the stuff has this coming across at these horizontal lines and you see it very little but in some of these rocks down here 
how come the well I would think if this area was like that how come we don't see that in everything um, but you do see it up here in the grain of these rocks it's amazing you don't see it in all of them but that's pretty cool now those shapes could be anything I could make out I mean I could sit here like I did on the one civilization video and say oh my god look that's that's a face that's a face that's something but it's it's definitely something that's got a lot of symmetry to it, a lot of geometry in it um, a lot of rounded uh, this this is just pretty cool I mean if that's a it looks like it almost could be some sort of machine and this is a hose or something coming out of it look it does look like a machine or generator it's sitting there and uh it's got an opening in it it's coming down going around spins up spins down and who knows what it goes to you know maybe these are, are pipe inputs where these circles are uh, let me to give you a look up in here in this corner go download this picture I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna end this now it's been a while uh, like I said I'm talk to you guys in a couple of days I didn't really look much and this does look to be like the fascia or whatever the top came off but I could sit here and talk for hours about this stuff. Much love, guys. Hit the subscribe if you're new. I hope you uh, check this out. I hope you, uh, hope you enjoy the videos. I've been making a whole bunch. This probably puts me at Mars 24, I think. So stay tuned. I'm going to get all the Mars things. Anything that's famous out there. If you have anything you want me to do, go ahead and email it to me. And uh, we'll do it. Take care.